Hey everyone, I'm Tamata. And I'm Vince. And you may have heard this story in the news, but you haven't heard the half of it. It has taken a life of its own on the internet, and it's scandalous. Art Price Jr. of Ohio can teach shy guys a thing or two. When he sees something he likes, he puts on the moves. He goes for it. He spotted a pretty picnic table on his deck, and nothing was stopping him. He'll sleep with anything that breathes. Well, he'll sleep with just anything. Well, he had sex with that special picnic table. That's right. An anonymous tipster gave police three DVDs. Not one, not two, but three DVDs of Art naked on his deck, tilting the picnic table to the side and going to town. How you doing? I hope he used protection. I hope so, because I wouldn't want offspring of deck chairs running around. That's why I stay away from garage sales. Well, this story is huge all over the web, so we're telling it from a different position. It's been one of NBC10.com's top visited stories all week, and bloggers are having a field day. Or should I say backyard day with it? It's making headlines with bloggers all over the world, and comments web users are leaving are a riot. Some comic relief for such a nutty story. You can read some of the NBC10.com visitor comments, too. But Art Price Jr. is a sensation. He made it into the Urban Dictionary. UrbanDictionary.com has now defined Art Price Jr. as the act of having sex with lawn furniture. An example of proper use is... Sorry, Mr. Coleman. I was out giving the lawn chair the old Art Price Jr. This is not a joke. Also, you know those sponsor ads that come up on some of the websites? Well, people are making money off this guy. The sponsor ads in some of these web stories are, get this, for patio furniture. Maybe he's the economic stimulus we've been looking for. Spend your rebate check on deck furniture. And even websites like this one are dedicated to the man who has given picnic tables a new purpose. But seriously, in this day and age, a story like this doesn't stay in your hometown for long. It spreads around the world across the net. Bloggers love it. Web users love, love it. it. I mean, who wouldn't want to send this story to one or all. of their friends? Even websites are created to forever stamp the event in time. So warning to you all, be careful out there.